Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. QuickBooks allows you to choose when you enter your credit card charges. You can enter credit card charges incrementally as you make charges to the credit card, or you can enter all credit card charges in lump amounts by account once you receive the credit card bill. Your choice depends on whether you enjoy entering information incrementally or all at once. Also, one advantage to entering the charges incrementally as you charge items is that you can keep close track of how much you owe. Another advantage is that if the charge is made to a particular customer job, you can keep track of how much you're spending on that job. Yet another advantage to recording charges as they are incurred is that you can then reconcile the charges that you have entered against the credit card bill when it arrives, allowing you to spot errors and non-authorized charges more easily. To enter credit card charges incrementally as they are incurred, select Banking from the menu bar and choose the Enter Credit Card Charges command to display the Enter Credit Card Charges window. Within this window, select the credit card account that was used for the charge from the credit card drop-down menu at the top of this window. To the right of that, ensure that the Purchase slash Charge option button is selected. Note that you can also record refunds and credits to a credit card account by selecting the Refund slash Credit option button if needed. Next, use the Purchased From drop-down to select the name of the vendor with whom you made the purchase. Next, enter the date of the charge into the Date field. You can enter the Credit Card Transaction Number into the Reference Number field. Then enter the amount of the charge into the Amount field. If desired, you can enter a note about the charge into the Memo field. At the bottom of this window, just as in the Write Checks window, you will then attribute the amount charged to the desired expense account or accounts by selecting an account from the Account column on the Expenses tab. The total amount will then appear in the Adjacent Amount column. If the charge is for a job, you can select the name of that job from the Customer Job column and set its billing status within the billable column. If you need to split the charge between multiple expense accounts, change the amount value shown for the first line and then repeat the process in the next row until you've accounted for the entire charge amount. Also note that if you're using this window for purchasing inventory part items or buying services from subcontractors, then you will not enter the charge amount within the amount column at the top of the form. Instead, you will click the items tab at the bottom of the window and then enter the items purchased with the credit card charge, including their quantities and amounts. The sum value of the items purchased will then constitute the total amount of the charge entered into the amount field above. Once you've entered the credit card charge information, you can click the Save and Close button at the bottom of the window to save the transaction and close the window. After you've input the charge, QuickBooks adds the charge amount to the credit card account's register, increasing the total account liability by the charge amount. It will add the same amount to the appropriate expense account once the bill for the credit card is entered or paid. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.